Baby back ribs versus St. Louis style spare ribs. Which one is better? What's the difference? Let's get into it. From my backyard to yours, less hate, more love, good barbecue. Let's talk about the difference between the baby back rib versus the spare rib. The spare rib is also the St. Louis style cut, which we got here. It's already cut into a St. Louis style rib. And then we've got the baby back that's going to have more of the curvature in its bone uh, style. Uh, both of them, depending on which uh, butcher and grocery store you buy might be fattier than others, but typically you're gonna be a little bit more leaner in the baby back, a little fattier in the belly. So again, you've got the spare rib that's gonna be at the belly of the rib. You've got the baby back that's gonna be closer to the loin up top and it'll be a little bit more leaner. Now that we know the differences, let's get into this and trim these up, season it up and fire up the grill. Let's do it. All right, friends, now we're gonna trim this up. What I like to do is find on, this is the baby backbone. Um, this is the end of this. There's not a lot of meat here. So I'm gonna just trim this off real quick. I'm actually gonna go, I'm gonna just do this section here and cut that off. I think that will burn. Um, if there's any like extra fat here I'll just take that off, but essentially just looking for pieces that I think are going to not cook well. And we'll do the same thing. And this is some fat here. We'll just, we can cook that along with it. And it's really up to you if you want to remove the membrane. I found on these particular ones, I like to let these sweat and they looked actually like they were going to be easy to remove and they were. So I just went ahead and remove them. But you can leave them on there. You can score it. It just helps you penetrate uh, the back of the meat and the bone uh, with your seasoning. But either way, no shame in your game, whatever strategy you go after. And so now we're gonna use some duck fat spray. You can use no binder if you don't want to. And then we'll season this up. This is my Sweet Red Dirt Rub. This is a new version that I'm working on. That's gonna be a little bit more powdery, but same great taste. Flip and do the other side. Yeah, see this pours a lot nicer and, and a great, a little bit more of a powder. Let's fire up the Connected Joe. I'm using some master built lump charcoal. That's what I had uh, at my disposal here. And then we are using some cutting edge firewood chunks. They've got great firewood, pizza wood, and wood chunks for smoking. We're using some pecan, I believe, through one large chunk in there, that's gonna be sufficient. We're gonna be setting this for 275 to 300 degrees, smoking indirect using heat deflectors. So come down here, we are going to go ahead and trigger the Connected Joe. And we've already shut the bottom temp, so we're gonna set the temperature, like I said, 275 to 300. Crack this just a little bit. There we go. And we are all set. Once this gets fired up, I'll push the ignition button. Don't forget to do that. And then friends, we will let this go for 10 minutes. It'll be ready to go. We'll put on the ribs and we'll come back. All right, we are up to temperature, 275. We got some good smoke rolling. Gonna lay this baby back down. St. Louis style. And my friends, we're gonna let this ride and smoke for a few hours. And once we see that the rub is adhered and we got a good dryness to it, we'll do a spritz with apple cider vinegar in water 50-50. And then we're just gonna let this smoke. And then once we get to that 180 point, I'm gonna do a little wrap with some other fun ingredients 
continue to let it ride until it's probe tender. So see you back whenever it's time to spritz. We are a little over that hour mark. Got some good color on here. Don't need to do a big spritz because it's still a lot of moisture, but I'm gonna go ahead and spray it down a little bit. And then we're gonna let this ride until we get to 175, 180, and then I'm gonna foil boat it with some brown sugar uh, and a few other things. And then we'll take it till we get to probe tenderness. All right, friends, we have achieved that 180, good mahogany. We're gonna add a little brown sugar to this all around. Don't need that much. Spread it out a little bit. I also like to spray, you can do butter on top as well. You could do slices of butter if you'd like. It's really up to you. Then we're gonna add some honey and let this come down. A little bit more rub around it. And then what I like to do is you can wrap it. You can do a foil boat, which I'm doing one of them that way. And then this one we can do. And then we will put this back on the smoker until it's probed tender. All right, friends, we are at the end of our cook and I did a foil boat on the back, on the baby backs, and then on the spare ribs, I foiled them up completely, but these last 10 minutes I opened it up so I can continue to get, uh, go from that moisture to get a, even a darker um, looking bark here. And everything is looking fantastic. And I think we're probe tender and ready. Oh yeah, my friends, we are ready to go. Take this off, show you what this looks like. We're gonna let it rest for about five minutes and then we'll slice rice into it. Friends, look at the final appearance of these baby back ribs and these St. Louis style spare ribs, great boning, beautiful mahogany color, just like I like. Sweet Red Dirt does it right once again. So happy, got a lot of fat on there. It's gonna be so good. Let this rest for five minutes. I'm gonna bring you inside, slice this bad boy up. Taste test, give you my final thoughts on which one I think is better. Uh, and they both look amazing. So I think it's gonna be a head to head right here. All right, friends, I just sliced up the baby backs and also the spare ribs. I'll show you that on the screen as we're talking here. But overall, it's tender, it's juicy. They both got nice smoke rings on it. So we, the smoke penetrated. The color looks delicious and amazing. So let's do a taste test. This is the spare rib. Good bite through. All right, baby back. <laughs> Gotta finish these off camera. We'll come back and talk about it. Baby back versus spare ribs. Man, those were delicious. Turned out uh, beautiful in color, tenderness, juiciness, and even taste. They both had uh, the same taste being sweet red dirt, brown sugar, uh, a little of honey, and a little bit more of sweet red dirt at the end. We wrapped it up, we let it ride until it was probe tender. It cooked in two and a half to three hours. It was awesome. I think really straightforward cook. I'm typically team spare rib uh, because I just like how cook evenly it cooks flat. Uh, I like the presentation of those, but I will say today, Team Baby Back won because it was a little bit more tender and juicy in my opinion, and I'm gonna put uh, uh, the extra weight on that rib today. Overall, it was just delicious with sweet red dirt. I'll have a link in the description if you wanna check out my new rub that I launched three or four months ago, and they'll be launching a few more rubs and even a barbecue sauce or two, hopefully by the end of this year, for sure into next year. So stay tuned for that. And friends, once uh, we hit 10,000 subscribers on this channel, I'll be doing a giveaway in partnership with Kamado Joe, hopefully giving away a Kamado Joe and even a solo stove and a bottle of my rub. So friends, help like, share uh, this channel and comment on this video what you thought uh, about the spare rib versus baby back. What's your favorite uh, style rib and what do you like to do? What stood out to you today? Again, thank you for the support. From my backyard to yours, less hate, more love, good barbecue. Till next time.